Today, we finally acknowledge the obvious, that Jerusalem is Israel's capital. This decision drawing both praise and criticism from people across the world and right here in Tucson. Stuart Mellon, the president and CEO of the Jewish Federation of Southern Arizona, says it's a symbolic gesture that he hopes will help reinvigorate peace talks in the region. This was always acknowledged. Uh, Jerusalem is the capital of Israel, it has always been that. So let's focus on uh, creating a brighter future out of this moment. He says Israeli-Palestinian peace is the ultimate goal, and this will shine a new light on the region. This is not the end of any road. The road needs to be uh, embarked upon to, to create peace for all the people in the region. Fatin Goshen, associate professor at the U of A's School of Government and Public Policy, says it's much more than a symbolic decision. She believes it comes with serious implications. It needs to be a rational decision made that is calculated that says, look, here are the reasons as to why um, um, I understand these consequences. I feel like the consequences were not taken into consideration. On her mind, national security and the safety of American troops in the region. This is taking away hope from the Palestinians that there may be a state for them. And when you take away hope from people, then they have nothing to live for. When they have nothing to live for, that can be very dangerous. And that also worries me. Arizona leaders weighing in today as well. Senator John McCain says he believes Jerusalem is the capital of Israel, but the final status of the city must be resolved by Israelis and Palestinians, supported by an international peace process. Representative Martha McSally says she applauds the president's decision.